I've been comparing the relative frequency stability of these two generators, the Juntec 9080 that you see in the screen here, and you notice I have it set to a megahertz, and then the FY, the KK Moon FY6900 up there, and you may notice that I have that one set to a slight offset, uh, a few uh, I think it's uh, <laughs> millihertz. Anyway, it's a tiny difference. In, and what I did is about uh, 10 minutes ago, I synchronized the two on the screen over here. Back out just a little bit. You can see it a little better. And at the top is the uh, Juntec and the scope is triggered on the Juntec. And what I did is I actually stopped the, the motion of the two. And let me show you how you can do that. Now, I'm, uh, like I say, I'm making tiny, tiny frequency adjustments to bring the two into sync. And of course, the reason that they're not uh, that they're not synchronized is they're not working off a common clock. If I linked the clocks, uh, this would be uh, these two would be very, very stable. But notice how little frequency motion there is. And what you saw earlier is the result of 10 minutes. In other words, what I did is I I synchronized these two like there it's going the other way. That seems to be pretty much stopped. And then I waited 10 minutes and as you saw they they started to drift apart very slightly. But this is very good frequency stability. I'm quite frankly amazed for a, one of these generators, the one that's the Blue Trace, I paid less than a hundred dollars. In fact, I paid 90, rounding up to 90 plus tax. Uh, but I did get that one on a kind of special deal. Uh, the, uh, I mean, nothing special because of me. I just happened to find it on Amazon and they were actually selling this generator for less money than they were the next lower model. So apparently they had a little bit of an overstock. And then the Juntec. Now, if I were to trigger on the uh, the KK Moon, the FY6900, then it would be this one that would be moving. So don't uh, assume that this means that this one is less stable than that one. What I'm looking at is what I, what is called relative stability. And for many applications, that's all you're interested in. If you set one generator and the other generator over a period of time, how, how much difference uh, do you have? And as you see, it's very, very small. So I'm very happy with the frequency stability of both of these generators, the, uh, the FY6900 and the Juntec. And it's uh, uh, I'm going to continue to do things like this, looking at the relative difference between the two. And they'll be a part of the overall comparison that I put together of waveform, uh, arbitrary waveform generators. Now I've set the Juntec to a 2 volt peak to peak square wave at a megahertz. And I've connected its output to the counter input of the FY6900. And now let's zoom in on that. And you notice that what it shows is that the same, I don't know if you remember how much I had to offset the, uh, the, this generator to make it sync up with the Juntec, but it turns out they are exactly the same. And that's once again because they, they are operating off of different references, different clock references. So this 
reads one, and then four zeros, and then one, two hertz. Uh, and of course, this is the issue that you have any time that you have unsynchronized clock references in a lab. So that's one reason that uh, a, a true metrology lab would link all of these uh, units together into one uh, from one reference source and they would probably use a very high precision reference source either a secondary uh, standard in some labs that's actually run off a cesium uh, very stable cesium standard or uh, these days you can actually get uh, almost the same accuracy by locking it to a GPS because the GPS system is all synchronized by cesium standards as well so uh, and that allows you to trace your accuracy all the way back to the National Bureau of Standards. At any rate, uh, just thought you might be interested in how you can compare a couple of generators, or in this case a generator and a counter, to see what their relative uh, stability is. Now you may notice that that frequency does not has not moved. <laughs> so uh, these two generators in my opinion, are pretty stable, although of course because they're not operating off of uh, true uh, secondary standards, they're, uh, the actual frequency that they're operating on uh, is not actually known, but for use in the average lab, whether a university or a home lab or or even a commercial enterprise where absolute frequency stability isn't the issue. I think both of these generators do a pretty good job. A little bit more on these two generators, the uh, Juntec PSG9080 and the KK Moon FY6900. What I have discovered is that both generators only hold one offset value. So if you set an offset in one waveform, that same offset will be present in all waveforms including the DC outputs. So for example if you switch one of these to a DC output uh, and you previously have set an offset of say one volt and then you uh, switch to a DC output of one volt, you'll actually get two volts out because it will be putting out one volt of DC plus one volt of offset. In other words, it carries the offset, or another way to put it is it stores the offset in only one location and it uses it apparently for all the waveforms. Now I haven't checked all the arbitraries and so on, but if you set an offset in a sine wave, for example, and then you go to a square wave or, a, or even a DC value, that same offset will be there. Then if you set that offset back down to zero in that other uh, function and come back to sine wave, you'll be at zero offset. So, uh, not that there's anything wrong with that, it's just something you need to keep in mind. When you set an offset, it's there for all the outputs. Uh, at least on that channel. Now it does store a different offset for channel 2 than for channel 1, but if you set a channel 1 offset and then switch waveforms, the same offset will be there. I've set up channel 1 on this uh, PSG9080 to be a 1 megahertz sine wave. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the system menu and page down and you notice that it says waveform sync off and I'm going to turn that on and then it says frequency sync off and I'm going to turn that on like that and now I'm going to go back into the regular frequency but I'm going to switch over to the oscilloscope display. Let me zoom out just enough so you can see the full wave shape there.
And then what I'm going to do is change the phase of channel 2 to 90 degrees. And you notice what we have here. Let me expand it out a little bit. What we now have is a an IQ signal. In other words, an in phase and quadrature phase signal. One phase, one uh, channel is 90 degrees out of phase with the other. Now, by locking the waveforms and the frequencies together, I can now go back to channel 1 and change its frequency to, let's say, 2 megahertz. And you notice the two change together. I point this out because, and by the way, you can do the same thing with the FY uh, 6900 the KK Moon that I've also been comparing this uh, PSG 9082. Uh, this is going to be very useful, at least to me, because a project I'm going to be moving on to eventually is helping to, to develop a curriculum improvement for uh, a modulation course that is more tuned to modern digital uh, applications like 5G and things of that sort. And for that, it's very important that you be able to generate and control signals that have this in-phase, quadrature phase component. So I am considering using a generator like this Juntek or the KK Moon as a baseband generator in that application. But I mainly just wanted to show you how this the, the channel coupling works on this Juntek uh, 9080. And I'm going to be moving also, but before I get to the to the curriculum issue, which probably won't even start until uh, maybe maybe early summer or late spring, the uh, I'm going to be doing a comparison between this generator and the KK Moon that you see up above there, as well as a uh, Siglent generator, which I expect to see uh, see arrive tomorrow. But more on that uh, at the when when all that arrives, and I hope you've enjoyed this little foray into some of the. Uh, quirks and, and features of the uh, Juntek PSG 9080 and look forward to a comparison of that 9080 with this FY 6900 and a Siglent 1032X. But in the meantime, stay safe, have a nice day.